Hello and welcome to episode number seven of my Bari career mode. Coming into the seventh episode, this one is a little shorter just to um, just an episode over the weekend, I guess. It's only two games in this episode, however, um, going into this first game though, we were playing, uh, it was Carpy. Uh, we were playing on, we're playing away from home in this one. I really like their badge. I think that's a cool, I don't know if that's their real badge. I know a lot of these clubs in Seria Bay don't have the don't have the same badge as they do in real life. Bari is one of them. Bari has a has a rooster on theirs, I think, in real life. Um, but we're playing Carpy in this game. Carpy with the 4141, kind of the way Bayern Munich play. Um, so yeah, that's Carpy. And um, we we are away from home, like I said. There's our lineup. And Peña, I've decided to leave him in goal ever since that uh, that last that last um his performance against Atalanta he's played he played very well so I decided I'm gonna leave him in for the next little while Fidato here an opportunity excuse me there um Fidato trying to find Valencia over the top but the goalkeeper comes out picks this one up and not a whole lot was going on in this game excuse me I keep having to stop that's kind of weird um anyway Conkas here for Carpi in stoppage time in the first half. Not a whole lot of opportunities either way. Um, also, Samnick played against Atalanta. He was playing in this game as well. He's been in good form recently. So, nil-nil at halftime against Carpi there. 55th minute, however, Conkas on the ball here for Bari. And they had a kind of an opportunity right here. They had this one wide right there. It doesn't test Pena. And later on, Galano trying to hook up with Morata there, who came on as a substitute. Can't find him, though. Um, Scaudone then with Morata. Morata gets taken down right here. Pretty pretty harsh challenge from Porcari, the Carpi player. The number 24 for them. Um, yeah, just gets taken straight down. So this was in the 90th minute. And like I was saying, there weren't a whole lot of opportunities either way really um we played i think we played pretty we didn't play good but I, we didn't play bad so um going on the road is it's not bad if you can draw away from home like that unless you're playing a really horrible team so i can take that we do get a monthly scouting update from crescenzi our youth scout and we get this guy andrea martinelli um a solid young player there hopefully he will continue to develop we decided to pick up Consigli as well, and we would wait for the next month, uh, the next update a month from then. Um, the second and other game in this episode, the only other game, there are only two in this short episode, would be played against Siena. This was a home fixture. This one a lot more important as well. Um, and up front, we had Albedoro on the left wing instead of Fidato and uh, Valencia, up f or Marota in front instead of Valencia. Siena was fifth in the table. We were still in eighth coming into this one. As you see our lineup right there. Sam Nick not in for this game. Kaita not there as well. Skaudone is in Kaita's spot. I have played um, a couple episodes ahead as well. I, I'm really enjoying playing with this team. I'm really enjoying playing in Serie Bay. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, so I have gone, gone ahead and... Uh, Skaudone is becoming a good player for this side. Kaita is kind of more of a goal threat. Skaudone is kind of just a guy to go on and uh, he can really make everything happen. He can make plays and make passes and get back and defend as well. But Christian Galano right here, definitely the best player in this side. He's been so good for us. He's so he's so he's very agile. He has like 91 ad agility. Um, his skill moves, he just performs them so quickly. Um, and he picks up a goal there, cutting in with that left foot of his. And Marota gets another chance here, finds Galano. Galano has to battle for it here. He's going to continue to try and try and uh, win the ball on the wing, but it eventually finds Marota, who will then find Defendi. And Defendi buries it from just outside the area in the 82nd minute. So a really good result for us here. We end up getting a 2-0 victory, not to spoil it. Um, but we would get another chance. Marota on the ball. He's going to shoot this one, and it goes just wide. A good ball from Kaita as well. 
um, who was playing as a substitute in this game off the bench. Very nice, um, almost finding the corner there, but just happened to go a little bit wide. Siena, um, they played okay, but we, we played real well, holding a lot of possession. And it seems like we have some games where we hold a lot of the ball, um, holding a lot of possession, we do a really good job of that. And then we have some games where it's kind of back and forth. Um, a lot of them are starting to become more where we kind of hold possession and we're really passing the ball around well. So the club ver doing very well right now, which is good to see. And anyway, that is it for this episode, though. If you like the episode, please like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Um, but that's it for this episode, and I will see you next time.